That's exactly right, Tom. The governor's office says this impacts 8,000 part time employees in New Hampshire alone. Now, there is a state hotline and a website to answer some of your questions. We'll have that for you in just a moment. But first, the state says workers should consider filing for unemployment. Part time market basket employees are still standing their ground, demanding the return of Arthur T. DeMoulis. ATD! ATD! But now they're bracing for no pay come Monday. When did you get your last paycheck? Today, <laughs> which stinks. <laughs> I have a car payment. Part timers were told starting next week there will be no hours available to work because there isn't enough business. Heartbreaking news for employees. Yesterday was going to be my first year. I was about to get the 25 cent raise. Like, it just stinks. Devastating news for Manchester store manager to deliver. It was awful. Uh, I've been sick to my stomach all day long. In your 31 years, this has to be one of the most difficult days. This has never happened in the history of our company. Uh, this is definitely the darkest day in Market Basket history. While Market Basket's board insists the associates are not being laid off, no work and no pay has the New Hampshire Employment Security Commissioner encouraging part time workers to file for unemployment. We were hoping something like this wouldn't come about, but now that it has, what we've tried to do as a department, we've tried to react proactively. I'm not going to apply for another job until I know it's a definite, you know. I'd love to still work here. It's a good job. It's a great family. I went to the unemployment office today and signed up for that. But one of the stipulations is that you do have to look for other jobs, and I don't really know how I feel about that because I, if I want to work anywhere, I want to work here. And while some employees tell us they are already looking for other jobs, they vow to spend their free time out fighting to get their jobs back at Market Basket. Live in the newsroom tonight, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9. And Gene, people who are losing their hours can find.